For centuries, the migration of birds has fascinated humankind. Every year, birds embark on long journeys, crossing vast distances with incredible precision. They fly over oceans and mountains, through skies that stretch farther than the eye can see. To us, it seemed like magic. How could these small creatures navigate such enormous spaces, often to the same exact spot year after year, despite ever-changing landscapes? The answer, however, was hidden in plain sight, waiting for scientists to discover it. For a long time, researchers believed birds used the stars, the sun, and natural landmarks to navigate. This idea seemed logical enough considering how humans had relied on similar methods for millennia. But as time passed, scientists began to suspect there was more to it than that. In the 1950s and 60s, a few curious minds started asking a bold question. Could birds be using the Earth's magnetic field to find their way? It was a radical idea at the time, one that seemed almost too strange to be true. After all, how could something as invisible as the Earth's magnetic field guide a bird on its journey? Then came an important breakthrough. In 1967, an experiment involving homing pigeons made it clear that birds could indeed detect magnetic fields. When researchers placed pigeons in a situation where they couldn't rely on visual cues like the sun, or the evidence was undeniable, there was something about the Earth's magnetic field that was guiding these birds, but the exact mechanism? That was still a mystery. At first, many scientists thought birds might have tiny pieces of iron in their bodies, natural magnets perhaps, to help them sense the Earth's magnetic field. The theory was simple. These particles would align with the magnetic field, guiding the birds in the right direction. It was a reasonable guess, but it didn't fully explain the birds' incredible navigational abilities. As researchers delved deeper into their studies, they realized that the birds weren't using magnets in the way we might think. The real answer was much more complex and much more fascinating. In 1978, a scientist named Klaus Schulten took the idea of magnetic navigation to a whole new level. Shulton was not just an expert in biology, but also a physicist, and he wondered if the process could involve something more subtle than iron-based magnetism. What if, he thought, birds were using quantum mechanics to detect the magnetic field? The very idea seemed like a stretch, but Shulton had an idea that would send researchers down a completely new path. He hypothesized that birds might be using a special chemical reaction in their eyes to sense magnetic fields. This theory revolved around the idea of radical pairs, pairs of molecules that form when light hits certain proteins in the bird's eye. These proteins, known as cryptochromes, are light-sensitive and play a key role in the bird's ability to sense the Earth's magnetic field. When these molecules absorb light, they create pairs of electrons, which can exist in two different states, singlet and triplet. These electrons have a property called spin, which can change in response to magnetic fields. In simple terms, the spin of an electron is like its tiny compass needle, always pointing in a certain direction. When the radical pairs form in the bird's eyes, these electrons align either in a parallel or anti-parallel configuration, depending on the magnetic field around them. If the magnetic field around the bird shifts, the electrons will shift from one state to the other. In the singlet state, the spins are opposite, one spin up, one spin down, and this state is stable. In the triplet state, the spins are parallel and this state is sensitive to changes in the magnetic field. These shifts between singlet and triplet states are incredibly important for the bird's navigation. When the magnetic field changes, the radical pairs adjust, providing the bird with subtle but crucial information about the direction it's facing and the strength of the magnetic field in that area. This means that the bird can use these tiny shifts to orient itself just like a compass needle adjusting to magnetic forces. But here's where it gets even more mind-bending. Quantum entanglement might be involved. 
Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon where two particles become intertwined in such a way that the state of one particle is directly related to the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. This means that the particles are linked in a kind of quantum relationship. In the case of the birds, it's theorized that the electrons in the radical pairs might be entangled. When this happens, any change in the magnetic field can affect the entangled particles simultaneously, creating a more precise and reliable system for navigation. Even small shifts in the Earth's magnetic field could lead to noticeable effects in the entangled particles, giving the bird crucial information about its location and orientation. This level of sensitivity, powered by quantum entanglement, would allow birds to detect incredibly subtle changes in the environment, which would be essential for long-distance migration. As this theory developed, it sparked further experiments and research. Researchers tested how birds reacted to different types of light and electromagnetic fields. They discovered that blue light, the kind of light that birds are most sensitive to, triggered the formation of these radical pairs in their eyes. This was an incredible find. It meant that the bird's ability to sense the magnetic field wasn't just about having special molecules in its eye. It was about a biochemical process that was triggered by light, and specifically blue light. Soon the experiment started to show something even more unexpected. Birds were not only able to sense the direction of the magnetic field, they could also navigate with it. In other words, these birds weren't just using their ability to detect magnetic fields to orient themselves. They were using it to pinpoint their exact location. This was something entirely new, a concept that scientists had never fully appreciated before. The birds weren't just relying on instinct. They were capable of true navigation, a kind of quantum-powered GPS system that allowed them to find their way across continents. Imagine it like this. The Earth's magnetic field acts like a giant invisible grid superimposed over the entire planet and the bird's radical pairs are finely tuned to detect the changes in this grid as it moves. As the bird flies, its eyes detect the slight changes in the magnetic field's angle or strength, and its brain processes these fluctuations to read its position on the planet. The bird doesn't just know which way to fly, it can also gauge how far it has traveled and whether it needs to adjust its path to reach its destination. This makes the magnetic field not just a directional guide, but a real-time map that updates continuously as the bird flies, providing it with the ability to navigate through vast open spaces with astonishing accuracy. This system is so precise that the bird can land in the exact spot it intended, even after crossing hundreds or thousands of miles. This quantum-driven map, powered by the interaction of light, magnetic fields and quantum entanglement becomes a navigation tool far beyond anything we've ever designed. In a way, it's like the bird is constantly following a road that only it can see, one that helps it connect the dots of its journey with the help of quantum physics. The story of the Eurasian reed warbler, a small bird that migrates over 7,000 kilometers, 4,350 miles, each year between Europe and Africa, illustrates just how sophisticated this navigation system can be. These birds, which weigh only half as much as a golf ball, have the ability to return to the exact same spot each year, despite the changing landscape and enormous distances. They are able to use the Earth's magnetic field to detect inclination angles, a type of magnetic stop sign that helps them pinpoint where they should land on their journey. As the research deepened, another fascinating discovery was made. Birds appeared to be highly sensitive to electromagnetic noise, or electrosmog, which is the low-level electromagnetic radiation that comes from things like cell towers and power lines. Studies showed that when birds were exposed to this artificial electromagnetic noise, their ability to navigate was disrupted. It was as if their quantum navigation system was being thrown off by human-made interference. Over the years, the theory that birds use quantum mechanics for navigation 
has only gained more support. Researchers have shown that these radical pairs, which are created in the bird's eyes by light exposure, are incredibly sensitive to magnetic fields. And when birds are exposed to artificial electromagnetic fields, especially radio frequencies, their ability to navigate is weakened. It's as if the bird's ability to interact with the magnetic field is a finely tuned system, vulnerable to disturbances from human technology. Today, scientists are still piecing together the full story of how birds use quantum mechanics to navigate. The more they discover, the more they realize that the bird brain is far more intricate and sophisticated than anyone could have imagined. What once seemed like a simple, instinctive ability is now understood to be a highly complex system, one that taps into the deepest mysteries of the quantum world. And so, from the first observations of Bird's strange ability to return home to the groundbreaking ideas of Klaus Schulten, to the experiments that showed just how deeply birds are connected to the Earth's magnetic field, scientists have uncovered a story of discovery that continues to unfold. The journey of understanding bird navigation is a reminder of how nature can surprise us and how the smallest of creatures might hold the key to unlocking the biggest mysteries of the universe. If you enjoyed this incredible journey into the hidden world of bird navigation, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Noesis Corner for more fascinating stories from the frontiers of science.